Oh, and I think we're going to be here overnight as well, so yeah. Let's just go, let's go to um, Morrison's, um, grab a coffee, go use the toilets and get going. Yeah. Okay. Fancy coffee? Yeah. Okay, cool. Oat latte? Oat latte. So, right, I'll be back in a sec. gone but that was a really nice coffee mm, that was, so good she's got oatly barista not oatly barista but oat barista milk in especially for us two this morning oh, that's so because sweet, we've been there for the last few days yeah <laughs> that's so nice i love it when they do that no that was very very nice of her very mm. nice people so where are we going today um we're going to a cafe aren't we this morning, yeah, I've just checked. The Secret Garden Cafe is a vegan vegetarian cafe and it's open at nine. Awesome. So on, we can go for breakfast. Yeah. It's yeah. on the it's on the harbour as well, so that's a nice little treat for Weymouth. Yeah. If you fancy it. Looking forward to that. Yeah. Should we go do it? Yeah. Alright, I'll finish this now. I'll be going. <laughs> down here and obviously the sea out there is so nice I'm shocked <laughs> be a waffle sort of morning isn't it yeah what well, have you found your waffles you want if you get the full vegan breakfast i'll get the scrambled tofu and we'll get a waffle to share yeah and two coffees yeah yeah, yeah okay, cool. okay decision changed a few times we finally ordered one biscoff waffle two scrambled tofu on toast and two cups of tea and sat in this beautiful courtyard cafe called secret garden situated in hope square near the harbour in weymouth the scrambled tofu was delicious with added spinach and pine nuts and a tomato and the waffle had broken biscoff all over. 
The waffle itself had a unique flavour with a slight tang to it. What is it, Janine? It's a Biscoff waffle with... Um, is that Biscoff with as well? With cream and Biscoff. <laughs> with cream and Biscoff and more Biscoff. I think that's Biscoff, yeah. Um, and crumbled Biscoff and whipped cream on top, all vegan, and it's really good. Mm. Did you enjoy breakfast? Yeah, yeah. Can't beat waffles and tofu scramble. <laughs> <laughs> Best way to start the day. Also, what a beautiful setting as well. Like, I, just absolutely amazing. Surrounded by our buildings and just lovely. Um, but I'm think, I was just looking at the map. We're right next to the island of Portland, or the Isle of Portland, which is really interesting. And I went there when I was a kid. There's a lighthouse at the end of it. But I'd like to have a look at whilst I'm an adult. <laughs> Do you fancy going? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. it's just it's literally just down the road. We're gonna have a bit of a drive around it and see what's to see what's there. Okay, let's go. The Isle of Portland is a tide island, which means it's joined by road to the mainland. Its harbour is one of the largest man-made harbours in the world. It was even used for the 2012 Olympic Games. The island itself is very unique looking, as it has a huge limestone quarry on the island, which by the looks of it makes up the majority of the whole land. Even all the houses are built from limestone, which gives the whole thing a sort of old-fashioned look. We're heading up a very, very, very steep hill slash mountain <laughs> into a quarry and on the other side of the quarry is a little beach called Church Oak Oak Church Beach something like that apparently it's got a brewing church and it's a really nice little bay um, and yeah even though the mist is coming in I think it's going to be quite nice to go and see that it's such a strange place you, you can tell it's a quarry there's big rocks everywhere look at this there seems to be jagged rocks and boulders sticking out of every hill and piece of land and we love that Apparently Portland stone has been shipped all over the world for architecture, including St Paul's Cathedral and the United Nations building. We continued along the road in search of a church with a view. Oh look, they're moving. Let's just go out there, shall we? Yeah. Keep things simple. Wow, Janine, what do you reckon to this, eh? It's amazing, the view. I love the fact that there's loads of like rocks as well. It's like, um, oh, what's that programme called with all the rocks? Flintstones. Flintstones, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> it is like Flintstone land, um, only with the church as well, a run-down church. But yeah, it's like, the water's like grease. So pretty. Really nice. And how many times on this trip have we said it's like Greece? <laughs> Every single beach we go to. <laughs> it's like Greece. <laughs> but yeah, well maybe Greece is like England now. <laughs> yeah, climate change. Climate change. <laughs> we walked over the rubble and onto the cliffs and it felt like we were transported to a scene from Mamma Mia, you know, the musical set in Greece. The air was dry and arid, but the setting was simply beautiful. The bay had crystal clear waters with just a few bathers enjoying themselves in peace and serenity. And at the top was the ruins of the church watching over it all.
We decided it was time to go and see the lighthouse for a flyby visit before finding our park up for the evening. We are blown away by the uniqueness and charm of Portland and we both feel so lucky to be here on such a sunny day. We made our way to a location called Chessel Beach. This is a big pile of stones that goes on for miles and um, it looks so interesting. Um, and I'm hoping that where we get to stop, we get to stay. That's going to be the interesting thing. We might be able to sleep at Chesil Beach tonight. Oh, I see. Oh, eight quid for 24 hours. A cha-ching! <laughs> Have a check to see if the, uh, the water's going to go down the sink. I think we're quite flat. I know, but just double check, because if it is, if we're all right here, that's it for the night, hopefully. It yeah. says 24 hours parking, so. Nice. Yeah, sweet. Uh, yeah, someone's been, someone stayed down here last night and they didn't get hassled. So um, it's uh, standard parking charges are eight pounds for 24 hours, um, which is incredible. And yeah, looks really good. There's a cafe down there. Um, apparently there's a, uh, a fish and chip shop just down the, over there that does um, vegan fish and chips. Nice. <laughs> we, could be, we could be here for a week, Janine. You know? <laughs> we wasted no time at all and hit the beach. Oh. Good walk, isn't it? And Nevis again. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. It doesn't look like England, does it? That's incredible. It's amazing. It's so beautiful. <laughs> How nice is that? The sea is like... I don't know, it's kind of, it's choppy but calm at the same time, isn't it? Yeah. There's no waves, it's just like choppy, it's like a lake. It's very sort of like channel sea, it's, the cha it's a channel sea. You can tell it gets deep very quickly though, though. Yeah. Yeah. Do they get whales? I don't know, because it's a channel, I don't know what they get. I mean, if they got a bloody, some sort of massive shark in Bournemouth or something, <laughs> then you'd think here they'd be able to get some Yeah. Know, yeah like definitely not getting in then. <laughs> this is Chesil Beach then, Liam. Yeah, it certainly is. Apparently it's 29 kilometers long and it goes all the way to West Bay and it's 200, some parts of it are 200 meters wide. This probably is one of them as well. It's huge. This side is all open ocean. That side is all harbor, uh, Weymouth Harbor, Weymouth Beach and all of, all of that. It's just like the best of both worlds. It's a beautiful day. I think we're gonna be here. Oh, and I think we're gonna be here overnight as well, sweetheart. So it looks, to be sort of like the best so best case scenario so i think let's get our chill hats on <laughs> um and sit down here enjoy the view and then go and have a cup of tea eh? how do you fancy that yeah definitely cool <laughs> it's a, co a comedy scenario get, get like sitting down on a beach like this on a shingle beach get these bloody things off
I'm down here on my own um, and I'm finding it very strange actually that no one is in there swimming or anything, not even paddling their feet. I'm tempted to but I don't want to if no one else is doing it because they may know something that I don't. So um, yeah, I find that really strange. Not even like kayakers or suck borders or anything like that. So yeah, very, very odd. Oh, this is so nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's at the perfect angle as well to make you just feel comfortable. I know, it really is. At like a 45 degree angle. Yeah, but it could just be a chair. Yeah. Can we paddle? Do you want to paddle your feet? I do. No one else is doing it. Do you know why? Why? If you walk, walk barefoot on it, I'll just try to walk barefoot on this. Is it difficult? Yeah. You hungry? I'm starting to get quite hungry, yeah. <laughs> As always. Should we go back and eat them? Yeah. I, um, I'm going to cook a mushroom stroganoff. I think. Ooh, I know. Ooh, I'm down with that. Yeah. All right, let's go and get it. Okay. <laughs> I've all of a sudden got really hungry. Let's go back to the van. absolutely gorgeous we used um, vegan beef mince and one packet of mushrooms and that's because we didn't have enough mushrooms and we had beef mince in the fridge to use up so we just used what we had um, but if I were to do it again I would definitely put more mushrooms in um, so yeah but it smells lovely should we eat it yeah let's eat it <laughs> Go. This is what we're talking about. Mm. So this is a mushroom stroganoff. Yep. With beef mince. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. Nice. Earlier that day, we heard of a local beach bar just up the road, which sounded pretty nice. So we had made plans to head there after sunset. As nice we are. The sun's going down, should we go for a walk? Yes, definitely. It's starting to get pretty cold, isn't it? The sun's going down at like 
really early now it goes yeah. went from being like 10 o'clock in the evening till about now it's like half seven less than half seven yeah and it's starting to get really cold really early anyway i need to walk off all that pasta anyway <laughs> so can we um can we go yeah let's go Get the warm love. Oh, you! How many times you banged your head on that today? <laughs> like seriously, it's like you're aiming for it. Liam has promised me a hot drink and a chocolate because it is so cold outside. I'm walking back from that beach, but <gasps> a marshmallow! <laughs> He knows how much I love marshmallows. So, choc am I getting chocolate as well? Yeah, you'll get chocolate as well. Proper special chocolate treat. <laughs> chocolate marshmallows and a hot drink. Walking back from that beach bar, I was so cold. Um, but it's been a really nice hot day today. Probably why I'm feeling the cold a little bit more this evening. Um, but yeah, it's nice and cosy in the van now. And we're just going to watch a film and eat marshmallows. How are you getting along with that hot drink? Hot drink is coming, Mark. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. Thank you. What you got there? Oh, it's a hot, hot drink. Hot chocolate you got. And this is, ooh, Sonoma reindeer. Very yeah. festive. They are the best chocolates in the world. Oh, nice. Well, they're the best chocolates at the moment. It's come out recently. Hot drinks and chocolate was the perfect way to end this day full of beautiful sights and great food. We can really feel the change in temperature now, as the evenings have a real chill in the air. We are blessed with sunny days and are hanging on to summer as much as possible, but this feels like a sign to get prepared for the heart of autumn and winter. We hope you're enjoying our videos, if so please subscribe to our channel and ring the bell, as it really helps us produce more videos like this. And let us know in the comments what locations you would like to see in our videos this autumn.